Have you ever seen some redstone machine with random scaffolding in it? If not, here you go. But why is it there? How is it even doing anything? Well, scaffolding is actually quite useful. It has a unique feature. It has gravity. Kinda like sand, but it's a bit different. From a scaffolding which is supported by a solid block beneath it, you can only extend it by 6 blocks away from that first scaffolding. After that the scaffoldings will just fall down. And we might not see it, but the further away a scaffolding is from the first one, the higher the distance value. But it can only go up to 6 since after that the blocks will just fall. Now again, we can't see that without using a free. However, observers can. So when the distance value increases or decreases, we can detect that. Meaning if I were to place a block, a scaffolding on top, a trapdoor on the side and another scaffolding on that, I can open the trapdoor, meaning the scaffolding isn't supported anymore. So it connects to the other scaffolding and therefore increases its distance value by 1, which we can detect. And what's even better is that the distance value of a scaffolding increases the further away it is horizontally from the closest supported scaffolding. The vertical distance does not matter. So if you place a scaffolding on another one that has a distance of 1, it will also have a distance of 1. And if you place a block below them, they will both have a distance of 0. That means we can do the same thing we did earlier with the trapdoor, but we can stack as many scaffoldings as we want on top of that. And they'll all have the same distance. And if we now press the button here, we can send a signal all the way to the top. And that takes a bit of time since scaffolding has a bit of delay, which just means we can do stuff like this.